Good morning, everyone. How's it going out there? Welcome back here to a Thursday Thanksgiving morning here, November 27th, 2025, 9.16 in the a.m. here, West Coast time. Uh, latest activity has a 6.0 earthquake coming in to the area of Alaska, just outside of Anchorage right now. Decent size event, about 30 miles or so. Uh, to the northwest of Anchorage. It looks like it may be close to the Castle Mountain Fault. Uh, let's go ahead and check this out, see what we have here real quick. I've been saying to watch the, the Alaska area um, for larger movement. This kind of in an area where I wasn't expecting, but I think we need to watch the Gulf of Alaska, the uh, subduction zone there. So right now, still underneath an automatic status, meaning a seismologist has not reviewed the data yet. Uh, looks like some reports coming in, and I'm sure this will come in uh, here as we go along. As far as the did you fill up reports, let's take a look here at the magnitudes real quick. See what we have. Well, there's <laughs> not a whole lot of uh, stations out here uh, that are reporting the uh, magnitude out here. I do know it's showing up. On Northern California, also the Kodiak or a Glacier Island, Alaska station. But look at that. Northern California picked that up as well. Interesting uh, quake. A uh, little uncertain on if this magnitude is going to stand or maybe get lowered, maybe get upgraded here. We'll have to see once a uh, seismologist reviews the data. There's also a 4.5. Looks like here a couple minutes later over here to the uh, southwest. Uh, but we've been seeing a lot of earthquake activity out here across Anchorage and all the way even up to Fairbanks. In general, just this area of Alaska recently. So it would make sense here to watch this area of the subduction zone where big earthquakes can happen. Of course, yes, we had the big one back in, uh, ooh, I don't recall the date, but you know they've had a, I think it was a 9.2 out here. Some time has passed and um, you know, that was just one area up here in Alaska that uh, can see s some big earthquake activity anywhere out here along the Aleutian Trench. You can see big mega quake activity, but uh, kind of watching this region right here where we've been seeing a lot of inland earthquake activity, including the most recent six pointer here right now. As uh, far as any tsunami statement, uh, they're reporting it as a 5.8. Uh, USGS still standing at a 6.0. We'll have to see what uh, these guys come up with. But, uh, man, what a what a way to start off the uh, Thanksgiving Day here. Looks like Northern California or uh, the uh, Clear Lake Volcanic Field in Northern California has some activity stirring up in there as well. This has uh, been a little bit more active than normal. Of course, this is the geothermal field here. Let me go to the satellite view and show you guys. But, uh, you know, I... There's a lot of these geothermal plants out here, and there's a whole process they do to harvest energy, right? They they inject uh, some material down below the heated area below uh, to create this dry steam in which harvests energy, and they power homes across the Bay Area. Uh, but it's been quite active out here recently. You know, I'm sure they know what they're doing, right? Poking a whole bunch of holes in a in a volcano area. Yeah, uh, they've been doing it for quite a while. I just wonder if maybe uh, there might be too much going on out here. Either way, I'm sure there's, uh, I'm sure the operations out there are probably intensifying. Maybe that's why we're seeing a little bit of earthquake activity or a lot of earthquake activity. Uh, but we'll continue to watch out. There's been a number of threes out here this morning. Look at that. Three, three point sixes and sevens and a bunch of earthquakes out here. Uh, in the last 24 hours, of course, this is a major area for earthquake activity because of the geothermal fields. Looking at 1,155 earthquakes out here in the last 30 days. That's quite a bit. Definitely a lot out there. So let's take a look here. What do we got up here in the, uh, oh man, up in the, in the uh, Strait of Juan de Fuca up here as well. 3.4. That earthquake coming in here in the last five minutes as well. So it looks like things are starting to light up out here across this area of the plate boundary and um, areas nearby. Bay Area even showing a little earthquake out here. Yeah, I said, watch out. These big earthquakes, these mega quakes and, and big significant events take place on 
important dates in human history. You know, Thanksgiving, it could, we could very well have a Thanksgiving Day earthquake in the Bay Area or anywhere. I mean, obviously, it's hit Alaska today. Um, but that's, you know, six pointer is a decent size event, but it can get much, much larger out here. So we do have to be prepared, uh, and mindful when we're out and about doing our, uh, festivities today. If you celebrate the holiday, by the way, happy Thanksgiving there to those that do appreciate all the comments there on my last video, uh, last night, uh, wishing me and Missy Mimi's a happy Thanksgiving. Not doing it yet. We're going to be doing ours here just a little bit later this afternoon. Um, so I'm just looking at these magnitudes here. Yeah, so this is going to be uh, this is going to be the P wave there from the six pointer. It does look like there was maybe a secondary earthquake nearby. Anza's picking up that six pointer as well. Possible we could see this thing get upgraded uh, to a larger magnitude. Just looking at the seismograph stations there. Still underneath automatic status review. Who knows how long it's going to take uh, for a seismologist to review it. You know, it's the holiday season and uh, uh, who knows. I, I expect things to happen during events like this. Whether it's Christmas, Easter, you go back in history and look at these dates. It seems like something big always happens on uh, important holiday dates here. Uh, let's go ahead and recheck stuff down in Southern California. Not a whole lot going on down in Southern Cal. We do have uh, most of the activity up north here, Bay Area northward. You know, a couple of smaller microquakes out there today in Southern California, but really nothing big. Uh, the rest of the country there, look at the new Madrid seismic zone. Quite a bit of movement stirring up there in the uh, last 24 hours. It's a little unusual to see that many quakes there in this short of a time period couple twos and some ones out there that's something you normally see over a week time period but uh we have uh five earthquakes out there showing up nothing big but uh this is an area that can see some big earthquake activity we're talking mega quake activity uh, they last seen it back in 1811 1812 some reports upper sevens maybe even along the lines of a low eight magnitude out here something like that today would be uh wow i couldn't even imagine uh, there wasn't a whole, I mean, there was stuff going on back in 1811, 1812, but nothing to where we're at right now. There's so much infrastructure and population density out there. Um, Philippines area still rocking over here. Quite a bit of earthquake activity from yesterday. And uh, looks like some more today. Let's take a look here at the Earthquake 3D Globe. See where our newer activity is down there around the Philippines southward. There's our 6.6 .6 from last night into the uh, Sumatra area. A little bit of migration northward there into the, uh, looks like the Burma region up here. Or um, Andaman Sea area, maybe around Thailand there. Uh, but some interesting activity it looks like. See that newer 4.0 quake there, north of the 6.6. Uh, .6. Yeah, we got, uh, we got to watch this area here. This is definitely lighting up right now. Watch the Cascadia subduction zone, of course, right? That's, uh, that could pop at any second. I'm just waiting to see here if these guys are going to update it. So, all right. I don't see any update yet. Let's check out space weather activity. See if we got anything major going on here for the space world. Not a whole lot, okay? A bigger, a decent sized earthquake with no major flares. No coronal holes facing us. These are all facing away from us. And, and in fact, they're... When these were facing us, it was very quiet in terms of earthquake activity. The high-speed solar wind stream has passed. The magnetic uh, lines from these sunspots or these uh, coronal holes there normally shoot out when they're facing us. So we're under no effect from these coronal holes. This is an older image. So we got large earthquake occurring with very minimal space weather activity. Go figure. This has been one of the events here where it's a big flop. Uh, that went uh, definitely went down in my notebook here of a uh, you know significant space weather event with very minimal earthquake activity. In fact, it was lower during the times of the X flares and the the CMEs here. You know, a couple weeks back, and the coronal hole activity lower than uh, the previous uh, days and weeks. You know, when there was hardly anything going on. So. And here we are, nothing going on in the sun. We got a six-pointer stirring up. So it's one of those things here where 
I'm not 100% convinced that anything... I mean, I, I think the Earth obviously has an effect on, on the planet, but whether it creates instant earthquake activity or elevated earthquake activity, yeah, that's yet to be determined. 46 miles deep for that earthquake, so it is underneath this region, more than likely not associated with the Castle Rock um, or Castle Mountain Fault up here. Uh, more than likely, it could have something to do with the subduction zone, so that's what I'm saying. We do got to watch that. A little bit deeper quake here as well. One minute later uh, for a 4.5, 77 miles deep. So that would put this area, that Gulf of Alaska subduction zone region in check. I got to watch that. See that subduction zone? This is where it begins. This is where all the big nine-pointers can take place. All right, uh, quick glance at the weather out here today. Not a whole lot going on for severe weather. In fact, the uh, travel conditions out here for Thanksgiving, a little messy up into the uh, Pacific Northwest, some rain and snow coming in. Nothing they can't deal with. They're always used to that. Uh, got a massive low pressure system here, bringing in some snow, mainly up into Canada, a little bit here across the Northeast. But it should be a fairly decent day uh, for travel. The weekend out here gets a little messy, though. Got a bunch of snow moving in and uh, maybe some severe weather down south there across Texas and Louisiana. Uh, California, we still got a lot of fog out here. I'm hoping the pattern cha changes. It looks like it might as we head deeper into December. Um, I don't mind the fog. I love the fog. It definitely keeps things moist out here. Uh, but at the same time, we need rainfall in Northern California. We've gotten a lot in November, but we don't want it to stop. All right, so uh, let me know here, folks. I'm sure, I think I got quite a few viewers up there into the Alaska area. We're getting this uh, as a felt report pretty strong there. It looks like the uh, shaking up around the strong level. As you can see in the yellow, they have that set here. Not, uh, you know, there's some reports coming in, but sometimes these uh, take a little while to show up. A lot around the Anchorage area. But let me know if you felt this earthquake, folks, what it felt like. As of right now, they're reporting this as a 6.0. Um, and it has not been reviewed. Well, it has been reviewed. Okay. <laughs> Spoke that into existence there. It has been reviewed, finally. It took a few minutes for them, but uh, it's standing as a 6.0. And um, just stay safe out there. Watch the um, Alaska area, Northern California as well. Like I say, things starting to move out here in the big fashion across Alaska. Washington showing some activity. And, of course, uh, Northern California there. Watch the Cascadia subduction zone. Happy Thanksgiving to everyone out there who celebrates it. We'll see you guys out here tonight. Uh, unless something major happens, I'm, I'm always on duty out here regardless of the holiday. Um, so we'll see you out here uh, tonight unless something major happens between now and then. Have a good one. Enjoy.